Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and aloha. This is Master Paul. Very grateful to be coming to you today live from Honolulu. It is a Tuesday. It is after a holiday here in Hawaii. We had a third day. Some areas didn't get their Mondays off, but we were blessed to have an extra Monday off today. And today is September 5, 2017. And I am grateful to be joining you. Uh, my head's a little spinning today. I've been quite busy taking care of a variety of uh, responsibilities. Uh, but I'm very grateful to be with you because that's my it's my downtime, actually, to be connecting with you and to serve you in this way. helps me to rejuvenate, rekindle, clear my own blockages. And today is a good subject matter, the 10 areas of your body vital for long life. Uh, rejuvenation could be another way to, to say that. Um, reversing aging could be another way to say that. And so the wisdom I'll be sharing with you today will be coming from uh, this teacher, Master Shah, and his book, The Power of Soul. And um, I hope that it will serve you today. For those that are just kind of tooling through and uh, not familiar with this, or if it's something that would be of interest to you, or maybe you want to go check it later, then by all means I encourage you to come back and um, come to my Facebook live stream by hitting uh, going to my Facebook page friending me and subscribing and then you can watch it anytime in the future and you'll also know when I go live so uh, we've got some people joining uh, one of the things I'm on uh, the computer today and it's un unusual but the uh, the live stream pushes past a couple of people right away so I don't need to see who comes so I apologize if I don't mention you coming in so thank you for joining <sighs> let me catch my breath I just got off doing a live stream and I was teaching on the seven soul houses using a mantra to clear blockages in the seven soul houses which you might know as chakras so that was fun and of great value as well so welcome to uh, See, I can barely read it with uh, uh, Brianna McClive. It goes into this faded area. CJ, welcome CJ. Aloha, Kristen. And welcome Candy. And welcome also Suki Singh. Welcome Dennis Gruber and Ma M.A. Drade. <coughs> aloha to Kristen Strachan. Welcome Susan Birchmore. Welcome Angie Kenny. And aloha to Becky. Aloha also to uh, Janice Crosby. And welcome to Shelly. Good to see you here all. Aloha, Paris, Willows. And where, welcome, Alyssa. Welcome also to Leanne Benedetti. Hope I said your name right. Uh, welcome also to um, Rezai, Anya. And welcome, Sanjita. Welcome, Monica. Welcome, Linda Jansen. <coughs> I'm sure others will join as we go. Thank you all for taking the time to join me today. How was your weekend? How was... Uh, how was the holiday if you had one <laughs> in America we did uh, Sunday was very powerful I initiated my 12-week awakened spiritual channels program um, and I'm happy I, I kept that recording all of the weeks are recorded and for anybody that's sitting on the fence maybe it's something that they would like to do or they'd like to know a little bit more about it uh, you can watch the first video it's a little long all of the the 12 weeks are all 90 minutes long but that first one went an extra half hour because I had to to offer a base foundational teaching about what to expect during that 12 weeks how the body the soul the energy body might react uh, what to look for in terms of the spiritual channels opening and so that took an extra 30 or so minutes to do along with the rest of the teachings and practices. And as we move forward, it should be uh, shorter, only 90 minutes. But um, I set up a, um, a group Facebook for the 17 participants. Uh, my goal is 22, so I hope you want to be one of them. And um, that allows everybody to come in group together and to practice together, which is truly important. For each week, I give a, a specific practice associated with the energy center or the chakra or the, uh, the channel that we're looking at uh, facilitating an opening for. And so uh, if that's of interest to you, just Facebook message me, let me know, and I will get you the link. Uh, uh, Kristen, you have my permission. Kristen Rojas is my right hand to post that link. Uh, on the chat uh, for anyone to watch and share 
because the uh, the twelve week program is still open for the first three weeks. Okay, so welcome also to um, who do we pass here? Welcome Diane Schoenfeld. Welcome Sanjita. Welcome also to Carlos Gustavo Batres. Welcome Helen Christine, and welcome also to Vanessa. Good to see you here. And aloha Tracy Lee Pai. Welcome Linda Smith. If anybody else, if I missed your name, please forgive me. So let us go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We're going to use the Soul Light Soul Service hand position, which is a hand mudra. Uh, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center, and the right hand remains pointed into heaven in the same prayer position we're all familiar with. <clears throat> let us close our eyes and fully connect, and I will invite in the beings of light. Dear the divine, the Tao, and the source, all layers of divine Tao and source, all committees, all heaven's animals, heaven's general soldiers, leaders and workers, all masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus and saints, buddhas and bodhisattvas, to the soul of Mother Earth, all stars, planets, galaxies and universes, to the soul of our individual heaven's teams, guides, angels and saints, we love you all, honor you all and appreciate you all very much. We invite you to please come to sit with each and every one of us, to sit in our heart centers, to bless each and every one of us, to reach longevity, to clear the blockages in our major energy centers and organs that are directly associated with longevity. We bless your we ask you to bless us in this guidance, wisdom, teachings, and any blessings that are offered here today. We thank you for this opportunity to receive your service. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you. We honor you. Respect you. We ask most humbly, most sincerely, for your power at this time. We ask you to please turn on, and we invite all souls in all universes to turn on love, peace, and harmony to join with us and to chant at this time. We're very, very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there's some folks that may be new uh, or not familiar with the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. This is a blessing, so you can make a request. This is also a mantra that is in 43 languages worldwide. It has encouraged you to download it, to play it often, and to share it freely because it will help bring love, peace, and harmony to humanity. So let us chant together to offer this service. Do la lu la li. La lu la la li, la lu la li lu la, lu la ha li lu la, lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chen ren li. Wang Li Ying Rong Har Mu Shi Shang Shang Ai Ping On He She Shang Ai Ping On He She I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Again, lu la lu la li, lu la lu la la li. La lu la li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai chuan nan li, wang li ying rong. Er mu shi sheng, sheng ai ping on he xie, sheng ai ping on he xie. 
I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Beautiful, huh? Kind of sets the tone. So, welcome, Patricia Johnson. Welcome also to Julia uh, Lawrence. Welcome, Pan, 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 Grig, Pan G R G. Not sure how to say that. Welcome, Renzai, and thank you uh, for your comments. I'm glad you had a, a weekend where you could make some valuable choices for yourself. Welcome also to Leandra. Welcome, Diana. Welcome, Laura. And welcome, Kate Nicole. Aloha. Aloha, Johnny. Welcome also, Nelson and TC. Haven't seen you in a while, TC. Good to see you. And welcome, Hosanna. Haven't seen you in a while, Hosanna. Good to see you. So thank you all for joining. Today we're focusing on the 10 areas of your body that are vital for longevity. Now, uh, some days I follow guidance and it's fluid. Some days uh, I am told we need specific teachings from some of uh, the books. And so today that's what I received. And so um, I received the message to go to the Power of Soul book, which is a foundational book. Uh, highly recommend it. You can usually pick them up for a few dollars off of Amazon uh, from the, the use section. They're in many cases new. And one of the reasons why is because uh, when, when Master Shah releases the books, um, he tells people, you know, okay, you want a blessing for, you know, uh, clearing blockages with your heart or whatever, um, go, go buy $100 worth of books, give the books away, I give you the blessing for your heart for free. Because he only makes 20% on the books, you don't really make money on the books, and he wants to serve as many people as possible. So people end up getting 20 books, obviously they only need one or two, so oftentimes these can be found very affordably for a few dollars, which is our blessing, anybody's blessing. So I recommend you get a couple of them and share them with your friends. Anyway, in this book, which is an amazing book, just loaded with nuggets, if you ever want to find the, the most gold you can find on the planet is right here in these books, just nuggets of gold everywhere, uh, all about how to clear blockages in your soul journey. And so today we're going to be focusing on the 10 areas of your body that are vital for longevity. So I will be reading directly from the book because it carries the Shen Qi and Jing of Master Sha's voice. Um, that's my teacher. And he, if you, if you have followed me at all, you know that he doesn't write these books. Um, the, the publishers are just astounded. They, they've never seen anybody print more than two books uh, of this size um, in one year, let alone four. And he's able to accomplish it because he doesn't write them. He just asks Kevin, please give me your information so I can share it with the world. And then he has somebody that actually does speak English type it out. He receives the English words, uh, speaks it, and she writes it out. And his native tongue is Chinese. He often has to ask her, what does that word mean? So he doesn't really know, uh, and, and, and in some of the cases, what he is speaking. Of course, he knows, like, you know, intellectually he understands it. Uh, but in terms of the English, he's clueless in probably 10 to 20% of the words that come through. He has to actually ask one of the other teachers what it means. And so the, the information is very pure. Um, so here is the information that I'll be reading to you. The prolonged life of the first soul, this is on page 166, if you would like to uh, know for future access or come along with me. In September 2007, he goes on to say, I was in Japan to teach a work workshop on soul, mind, body, medicine. Suddenly, he was given a lifelong formula for humanity. When he says, when I say he was given, he just received it. And generally speaking, when he receives these sacred wisdom and knowledge, the divine uh, tells him in, in, beforehand, I am going to give you this information beforehand. This happened to be right when he was in the middle of teaching. And so he gave him the wisdom, and he also wrote it down right there. And what he received is, these ten energy centers and organs are also vital for healing, prevention of sickness, and rejuvenation. 
They are the lower Dantian, which is the second chakra. The Snow Mountain area, which is a, a Taoist word that stands for the Kundalini area. It is also the liver, the heart, the spleen, the lungs, the kidneys. Excuse me, what's not Taoist? It's a, a Buddhist term. Taoist is called the golden urn. Um, the, so liver, heart, uh, spleen, lungs, kidneys. The spinal cord is important for longevity. The brain and the small intestine. Interesting, right? Who would think small intestine and spinal cord are our key to longevity? A lot of people probably not catch that one. And so welcome also to Angie Taylor. Welcome Lizzie uh, Palmer. Welcome Ma Manasuk Singh. Hope I said that right, Manansuk. Welcome Lutzia. Great to have you here, Lutzia. And welcome Jessica. Welcome also to Tali. Welcome Leandra, and welcome Dvorka and your daughter. Welcome also to, see if I'm missing anybody, uh, Becca Ryan. Welcome Dana Knapp. Welcome Cece, and welcome Deborah Anderson. Welcome also to Jeannie Van Hove. Hope you're enjoying this. Again, page 166 of the Power of Soul book. Uh, you can access this on your own. So I'm going to give you... Um, very specific nuggets on each one of these 10 areas, and then we're going to do practices for each of these 10 areas, okay? I'm going to try to burn through this quickly because I want to spend the time on the practice. So you can always go back and watch the video if you missed anything or uh, 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 buy the book. Lower Don Tien. Lower Don Tien is a foundational energy center. It's approximately an inch and a half below the belly button. It's in the center of your body. It's a fist-sized energy center. Uh, and it is the key for long life. It is a postnatal energy center. Postnatal means um, it's refilled when you're here. It's, you, you don't get energy in it from heaven before you arrive. Uh, it is the seat of the soul for most human beings. That's an interesting concept. What does that mean? That means that most souls uh, are not enlightened. Enlightened means that their soul sits at the heart center or higher. And that's the first stage of enlightenment. There are many stages. That's future teachings. But most of humanity, roughly 85%, their soul sits below the heart center, and a lot of them, their soul sits there, which is why, by the way, Master Shah refers to uh, the chakras as soul houses because the soul is housed as it moves through uh, the chakras. Okay, uh, it is the foundation. He goes on to state, the foundation of a 100-story skyscraper must be very different from the foundation of a two-story house. The stronger your lower Don Tian, the better the foundation for a long life. Makes sense, right? So this is why all the Tai Chi, Qigong, what are they doing? They're moving their body in a circle. All the Tai Chi, Qigong movements are focused on boosting the power to the lower abdomen, lower Don Tian, foundational energy power, longevity, right? Snow Mountain area, also known as Golden Urn, also known as Kundalini. Approximately, if you uh, draw an invisible line from your belly button to that dip in your back, straight line back, go back two-thirds of the way, drop down about two and a half inches, that's the core or the center of the Kundalini Snow Mountain area. It is the prenatal energy center, meaning it carries the energy of the ancestors. It is the key to the quality of life and long life, it is an energy source for the kidneys. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, it is energy food, energy food for the third eye and the brain, and it is a starting point of the four major energy meridians. That is called the Ren, the Du, the Dai, and the Chong meridians. No time to go into that today. But it is obviously a key central point that impacts a lot of meridians, it impacts our brain, it impacts spiritual channels, it impacts our kidneys energies, which by the way, the kidney is the very first thing formed in a fetus. So do you think it's important to life? Why do you think it's important to longevity? Got it? All right. Uh, liver. Liver is the third most important one. And these aren't in any particular order, or I don't think so. He hasn't stated them as one is more important than the other, but that they're all ten relevant. Uh, according to the five elements theory, 
applied in traditional Chinese medicine. The liver is the wood organ. It is a yin organ. It is paired with the yang organ called the gallbladder. So like they work together, yin yang, liver, gallbladder. The liver energy opens up on the eyes and connects to the tendons, and the liver connects with the emotional body of anger. Those that are angry have liver problems, um, or vice versa. Those that have liver problems have anger problems. The liver stores blood and regulates the flow of qi. What is qi? Qi is life force energy and blood in the body. It regulates emotions. Uh, the qi flow of the liver is closely related to the menstruation in women. Ah, interesting. So those with menstrual problems could have blockages in liver or wood elements. Uh, rejuvenating and prolonging the life of the liver benefits all aspects. The heart, next organ. In Chinese medicine, the heart is the fire organ. It is a yin organ. It is paired with the opposite organ, the small intestine. What was the other organ mentioned that was unusual, small intestine? It is a pair opposite of the heart. Who would have thunk? Um, the heart energy opens up on the tongue and connects with blood vessels. The heart connects with the emotional body of depression and anxiety. The heart is in charge of blood and blood vessels and blood circulation. The heart houses the mind and the soul. Disorders of the heart can deeply affect the function of the brain. So when people have any kind of heart blockages, it's hard for them to actually think. Their, their brain doesn't work too good. And so even children, when Master Shah, uh, he would always remind the parents and the audience, get blessings for your children's heart along with their brain because they work together in children's intelligence and as well as adults. Uh, rejuvenation and prolonging of the life of the heart benefits all of these aspects. Side note, uh, Master Shah teaches everything as a soul um, your body soul is number one. Your heart soul is number two. Your heart soul is in charge of all the other souls of your body. So elongation of the heart, blessings to the heart, will of course increase your longevity. It's a no-brainer. Spleen. Most people have no clue whatsoever the value of the spleen. In traditional Chinese medicine, the spleen is the earth organ. It is a yin organ. It is paired with the yang organ, the stomach. The spleen energy opens on the mouth and gums and connects with the muscles. Teeth and gum issues, spleen issues. The spleen connects with the emotional body of worry. If you worry a lot, connected to the spleen. The spleen is in charge of transportation and transformation of food essence and body fluids. Transformation and transportation of food essence and body fluids. It has a key role in digestion and absorption. It is also a cyst in metabolizing water. Rejuvenating and prolonging the life of the spleen benefits all of these aspects. Interesting, huh? Chinese are pretty smart. The West, the Eastern medicines know a lot. Western medicine hasn't figured out. The lungs. In traditional Chinese medicine, the lungs are the metal organ. It is a yin organ. Its paired yang organ is a large intestine. Lung energy opens on the nose and connects with the skin. Problems smelling, associated with the lungs. Skin issues, associated with the lungs. The lungs connect with the emotional sadness and grief. Sadness and grief issues can affect your skin and your lungs, and vice versa. The lungs are in charge of qi, including respiratory qi and whole body qi. Interesting, lungs are in charge of your life qi. The lungs assist in metabolizing water, and rejuvenating and prolonging the life of the lungs benefits all of these aspects. The kidneys. In traditional Chinese medicine, the kidneys are the water organ. It is a yin organ. Its paired yang organ is the urinary bladder, right? Urine, right? The water organ, get it? Okay, so kidneys, urinary bladder, part of the water element. The kidneys energy opens up on the ears and connects with the bones. So bone problems, ear problems connected to weak kidneys. Kidneys connect with the emotional body of fear. Again, weak kidneys, a lot of fear, weak kidneys. Uh, the kidneys are in charge of metabolizing water. The kidneys uh, deeply influence the reproductive system and its organs. Rejuvenating and prolonging the life of the kidneys benefits all these aspects. Now we move into an unusual one, the spinal cord. 
spinal cord is definitely associated to longevity. In conventional modern medicine, the central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord and the tra traditional Chinese medicine. The spinal cord plays a major role in rejuvenation and longevity. There's some secret wisdom he talks about. In traditional Chinese medicine, the spinal cord is named Sui. Sui produces and nourishes the brain. So what he's saying is uh, energies in the spinal cord nourish the brain. The secret energy and spiritual wisdom of Shulian journey, the kidneys produce Jing. Jing is matter, which is the essence of matter. Qi, uh, Jing produces and nourishes Sui, which is the spinal cord. Matter produces a spinal cord. What is created first in the fetus? The kidneys. The kidneys produce matter, the jing. That helps produce the spinal cord. Sway produces and nourishes the brain, with, and so the spinal cord then produces the uh, uh, nourishment for the brain. It's ancient traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and that mao, M -A, mao, N-A-O, which is the word for brain, uh, is the C of the sway. So here's the process. Kidney, spinal cord, brain. The C of sway. Stream, river, ocean. Stream is the kidneys. River is the spinal cord. Ocean is the brain. Interesting, huh? And so um, very powerful teachings on that subject matter. There is in the Tao 2 book, Master Shaw talks about, much deeper wisdom on this for reaching enlightenment with these very deep teachings go a lot deeper than this topical uh, activity here. Secret wisdom for long life in Taoism. If you know a little bit about Taoism, this is not teaching Tao, this is just other information, you may have heard about it and most important and essential teachings, which is Jing Qi Shen Shu Dao. However, many serious practitioners can study and practice Taoism for an entire lifetime without really understanding what this means. They might not know how to practice and achieve Jing Qi Shen Chu Dao. Let me reveal the secrets now. Jing Qi Shen Chu Dao translates into matter, energy, and soul transformations. They carry different frequencies of matter, energy, and soul. Soul breaks down into soul, heart, and mind. So in Jing Qi Shen Shu Dao, matter, energy, and soul frequencies transform into finer and finer frequencies. The process of transformation is the evolution of energy, matter, and soul. So the first level of Jing Qi Shen Shu Dao is to advance your energy and your spiritual journey by doing practices. Therefore, to move from Jing Qi to Shen, from Jing to Qi, from Qi to Shen, and from Shen to Shu, from Shu to Dao, you must uh, do different layers of frequencies. Only a being who does spiritual practice can reach finer and finer frequencies. When you can move your frequency to the Dao, you have reached a very fine frequency of matter, energy, and soul. You have reached the Dao frequencies, and you have reached your highest soul frequencies. In other words, you are fully and completely enlightened. <clears throat> but that is not the ultimate. However, you must know that Tao itself has layers. Soul enlightenment is the first major layer of Tao. There are higher and higher layers of soul enlightenment. The highest enlightenment is to reach the frequency of the divine realm, in which there are layers in the divine realm, um, and so forth. Okay, let's move to brain. Brain is obviously a key for rejuvenation and long life. <clears throat> Aging is accompanied by poor memory, slowed responses, difficulty thinking, lack of energy, loss of flexibility, deterioration of all body functions, and in many cultures these are considered to be the inevitability or the inevitable results of aging. All of these behaviors and changes and declines in body function show that brain is getting older. Therefore, to rejuvenate and prolong the brain is vital. And he just gave you wisdom of how the, the qi or the jing and the kidneys can produce the qi that can feed and nourish the brain. So there are ancient secrets that connect together <clears throat> to accomplish this. Small intestine. In modern conventional medicine, 
the small intestine is the vital organ for digestion and absorption. It is also emphasized in traditional Chinese medicine where the small intestine is characterized as the function of fen qing mi zhou, I have to <laughs> try to pronounce Chinese, uh, which means to distinguish the essence of food from the waste matter of food. So it has its ability to distinguish energy from that which has no value. Um, I have explained the importance of these 10 areas for prolonging life and as I was flowing this chapter, as he was flowing it, like I said, he just speaks it out, then uh, he was told, uh, the divine said to him, uh, now he will give him practices. And so that's what we're going to do next. Okay? So each and every one of you have received, whether you're aware of it or not, downloads and treasures <coughs> uh, to assist you. And so we're going to turn those on. I'm also going to turn on one or two of mine and send them to you to bless you as we do these practices. Let me acknowledge who else has joined us. Welcome, Rianne. Welcome, Angie Chandler. Aloha to Jessica Gregory. Welcome, Chloe. Uh, welcome also to uh, George Dixon. And welcome, uh, Paul Quackenbush, Patricia Johnson. I think I've acknowledged you earlier. Welcome, Ari. And welcome, Sonia. Aloha, Haley Donaldson. Uh, I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. Welcome, Sherry Picard. Thank you all for joining. <clears throat> and so now we're going to move into the practices, which is mantra. Master Shah teaches the four power technique. Body power, where you place your hands is where energy goes. <clears throat> Mind power, creative visualization. What you focus on is what happens. Sound power, um, what you chant is what you become. Very important. We might chant, heal my kidneys. Might sound silly to the mind, but what you chant is exactly what happens. No different than what you focus on is what happens. And so when you put these together, it makes a big difference. You do them individually, some difference. The most important is the soul power, <clears throat> which is connecting to uh, the soul of these ten organs and energy centers and working with them. So we will do uh, soul tapping. We will move our hands in the appropriate positions. And we're going to start by doing a quick connection, soul power, and a quick forgiveness practice. So everybody, if it is comfortable, then please repeat after me. We start by placing our hands in the hand mudra position, which again is like our prayer position, left hand in front of the heart center, right hand remains pointed towards heaven, <clears throat> and it connects heaven through our hand into our heart center. Okay? So we'll close our eyes. We'll do a quick connection and then a quick forgiveness. Please repeat if it is comfortable for you. Dear all the beings of light that are present, divine Tao and source, my individual heavens team guides angels and saints. I love you all, honor you, deeply respect you. I thank you for your presence. I ask your blessings today as I chant these mantras to build, boost, and rebuild bring longevity to these 10 areas. Thank you. Dear the soul of my lower Don Tian, my snow mountain area, the soul of my liver, my heart, the soul of my spleen, my lungs, my kidneys, the soul of my spinal cord, my brain, and my small intestine. I love you all, honor you, and appreciate you all. You have the power to heal yourself. You have the power to release blockages you have the power to extend your longevity, your life. Do a good job. This is an example of soul power talking to the inner souls. We've already talked to the outer souls, divine Tao source, light beings, etc. Okay, so that's our soul connection. We will now do a quick forgiveness. Continue to repeat if it is comfortable. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you in any lifetime in any manner by inappropriate or wrong thoughts words or actions please forgive us any mistakes we have made especially we ask your forgiveness if we have brought harm or suffering to your lower Don Tian snow mountain area brain lungs kidneys heart 
spleen, if we have brought damage to uh, your liver, your spinal cord, <coughs> or any uh, small intestine, any of the areas mentioned, we sincerely, sincerely apologize. We ask forgiveness for any mistakes we have made. We do not wish to harm any souls. We have learned our lessons. We will not make the same mistakes again. To all of the souls that have harmed us, we offer your unconditional forgiveness. Let us release our blockages to each other. Move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Very simple forgiveness practice. I encourage you to do more of them when possible. All right. So now I will read you through the mantra. Very straightforward, very simple. But we want to close our eyes. Our hand, one hand will be on the lower dantian. Uh, in this case, both hands since it's the lower dantian. Visualize center of your body to about an inch and a half below your belly button, the lower dantian energy center. Place both hands over your lower abdomen. Visualize the golden light in this area. Let us close our eyes and chant. Heal and boost lower dantian power four times. Heal and boost lower dantian power. 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 So I will say it once and then we'll repeat four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Again, four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. 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 And now, prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Repeat. Prolong life of lower dantian. <coughs> Sorry. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lower dantian. Okay, so we're going to do this for all of the organs and systems. I will now turn on uh, some of my uh, transmissions, and send them to you. Give me a minute. Please, uh, you also have downloads treasures. You're welcome to turn them on. You can do that by saying, all my downloads, all my treasures, please turn on. Please bless me for the areas I am chanting for. Very good. Okay. So next we're going to do tapping. Uh, we'll tap our lower Don Tian and the Snow Mountain area. So remember the Ming Men point on the dip in your back, straight back from the, uh, the navel. You would... Um, Tap your lower dantian on the front of your body and place your palm on that dip in your back. Okay? We will chant. Heal and boost snow mountain area power. Let us chant four times. Heal and boost snow mountain area power. 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 And now rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. And now prolong life of soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of soul mountain area. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of snow mountain area. Next, 
we will tap our lower dantian with one of the palms. Place your other palm on your liver. Your liver is below your right rib cage. One palm on your liver, the other palm taps your lower dantian. Repeat four times. Heal and boost liver power. Let us begin. Heal and boost liver power. 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 Next, rejuvenate soul mind body of liver power. Four times. Rejuvenate soul mind and body of liver power. 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 Next, prolong life of soul mind and body of liver power. Four times. Re prolong life of soul mind and body of liver. Prolong life of soul mind and body of liver. Prolong life of soul mind and body of liver. Prolong life of soul mind and body of liver. Continue to tap your lower dantian, placing your other palm on the heart, your physical heart. We will chant heal and boost heart power four times. Heal and boost heart power. 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 Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of heart power four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of heart power. 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 Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of heart power four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of heart. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of heart. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of heart. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of heart. Next, continue to tap your lower dantian and move your palm straight down to below your left rib cage where your spleen is. And repeat, rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of spleen four times. Re rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of spleen. 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 Heal and boost spleen power four times. Heal and boost spleen power. 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 Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spleen four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spleen. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spleen. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spleen. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spleen. We will continue to tap our lower dantian and we'll move your free palm to your lungs. You can visualize a uh, white light in the lungs and you can chant heal and boost lung power four times seeing the light light heal and boost lung power 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 we will now chant Four times, rejuvenate soul, mind, body of lungs. 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 Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of lungs. Four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, body of lungs. 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 Continue to tap your lower dantian as you move your free hand to your kidneys. If you cannot reach your kidneys, put your mind on your kidneys. Keep your other palm on the front part of your body. 
We will repeat four times. Heal and boost kidney power. Let us repeat. Heal and boost kidney power. 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 Next, rejuvenate soul, mind, body of kidneys. Let us chant. Rejuvenate soul, mind, body of kidneys. 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 Next is prolong life of soul, mind, body of kidneys. Let us chant. Prolong life of soul, mind, body of kidneys. 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 Continue to tap the lower dantian. <clears throat> and your palm uh, will go to the back of your neck, representing your spinal cord. So it's the back of your neck. And we will chant. Heal and boost spinal cord power. Let us begin. Heal and boost spinal cord power. Heal and boost spinal cord power. See the light. Heal and boost spinal cord power. Heal and boost spinal, spinal cord power. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of spinal cord four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of spinal cord. 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 Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spinal cord four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spinal cord. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spinal cord. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spinal cord. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of spinal cord. Remember to continue to tap your lower dantian. You will now move one palm to the top of your head for your brain power. Continue to chant. Visualize the light in your brain. We will chant heal and boost brain power four times. Heal and boost brain power. 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 Now we will chant rejuvenate soul, mind, body, and uh, soul, mind, body of brain. Rejuvenate 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 soul, mind, body of brain. Now we will chant prolong life of soul, mind, and body of brain. Let us chant. Prolong life of soul, mind, body, and brain. 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 Continue to tap your lower Don Tian. And now you would bring uh, your other palm down to your small intestine area. So maybe you cannot tap at this time. But you can place both palms there. And you will chant, heal and boost small intestine power. Let us chant. Heal and boost small intestine power. See the light. Heal and boost small intestine power. Heal and boost small intestine power. Heal and boost small intestine power. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of small intestine four times. Rejuvenate soul, mind, and body of small intestine. 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 Prolong life, soul, mind, and body of small intestine. Four times. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of small intestine. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of small intestine. See the light. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of small intestine. Prolong life of soul, mind, and body of small intestine. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So Master Shah goes on to share how this is a very practical way to heal, boost, and rejuvenate your power and prolong your life. Uh, 
and we should say self-heal because you're doing this yourself, of the 10 major organs and the energy centers in these special 10 areas. If these areas are transformed, you can absolutely prolong your life and boost your power. Now, what I saw, I want to share with you what I saw in my third eye as we were doing this. Uh, there was like, um, you ever seen the matrix when uh, you see like those green lines running through Neo's body? Like the, I saw that there was like these lines of light running through our organs and our systems or our organs and our energy centers that we were practicing with. And we were going, heal and boost. And, all, zoo, zoo, zoo. and what it was doing, it was, it was clearing the blockages because we were giving it soul orders. You need to understand that your soul is exceedingly powerful. It can self-heal you. Um, and when we imply, employ the four powers, body power, well, uh, uh, where we placed our hands was of significant importance. Mind power, those who are visualizing are getting greater power to the area. Sound power, what you chant is what is actually happening. No different than what you visualize comes to fruition. What you chant is what you become. If you chant um, divine love, divine love, you become divine love. If you chant God heals me, God heals me. If that's your chant your whole life, it's exceedingly possible that will occur because what you chant is what happens, what you become. So these are three of the more of the four soul powers. The fourth power is the most important. It is the soul power. You can do the others individually or collectively, but it is the soul power that brings them all together and creates the huge, huge, huge benefits that uh, create such significant shift. Okay? So it might seem like a simple practice, but it is exceedingly, exceedingly powerful. So I look forward to seeing some of your sharing on this. I don't want to go too much further uh, because we're already coming to the end of the hour, but I'd love to hear some of your sharing. Uh, uh, Tali says her eyes are itchy now. So uh, it's possible, Tali, that um, there is some weakness in your wood element associated with your liver, which associates with your eyes, part of the teaching today. And when we worked with the five major uh, organs, the the wood fire uh, leads. Um, the wood is the source of the fire, the heart. The fire of the heart um, breaks down the wood and helps create the earth, the spleen. The earth then is the carrier of the metal, holds the metal in the earth, which is the lungs, the metal element, which then is the carrier of the water. The metal creates a, like a pail or something to transport or carry water. And so these work in synergy to support each other. So in moving the chi through these organs and systems in this way, we are uh, boosting each one, which nourishes the next, helps bring balance to our organs, our systems, helps bring balance to our emotions, and it could trigger some release like itchiness in the eyes. Um, Heather says, heal thyself and self-boost. Excellent. Kate says, it's like doing the things when you have a pat your head and rub your tummy. <laughs> Very cute. Um, uh, Heather says, got really hot and achy. Had to do some yoga and stretching. Yeah, this moves the chi. And if the chi um, hits a, a wall, it feels like you're thick. It feels like you're a bit stuck. So do yoga. Do stretching. Do energy meridian stretching, right? Don't just stretch. Twist your arm so that you uh, twist like wringing out the towel, right? Stretch in unusual ways. Follow your soul's guidance in your stretch. Um, Vanessa, slight headache, okay. And so let's go ahead and, and, and do something to uh, bring the chi down and balance everyone out. Bring your focus into your lower abdomen. Everybody bring your focus into your lower abdomen. We're going to chant for a couple of minutes to ground ourselves. Put your hands over your lower abdomen. Visualize light in the entire lower abdomen, bigger than a bowling ball, the whole lower abdomen. See the light. And we're going to chant uh, Jo, Z-H-O-U, uh, which is the number nine in Mandarin Chinese. But it boosts power to the lower part of the body. Uh, and it brings the light there. So let us see the light coming in and chant there. Jo, 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 
ジョーョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジョジ That's a simple practice whenever you find yourself up in your head a lot, a little bit dizzy, a little headache,、uh, feeling a little nauseous. All that means you're an upside down pyramid. Your energies are upside down. Turn the pyramid around, put the base down, bring your thoughts, your mind, your breath, your light, the four powers into your lower abdomen. Chant. You can remember the word Joe, you know, like Mike, Jim, John, Joe, but it's pronounced Z H O U, Joe. But you can remember that name, and then you just chant that and, and see the light boom, 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 coming to that area. Okay? And that will help you to ground and,、uh, and not have any negative experiences. So I see、uh, somebody's kidneys w a s impacted a little bit, Monica. Somebody broke out in a sweat,、uh, suddenly feel fatigued, big yawn.、Um, yeah, lots of releasing of energies, lots of releasing of energies. I recommend you get up and walk after this, move the chi. It goes to show you how blocked the chi can get in our body.、Um, felt flush, says Patricia. Yeah.、Uh, somebody, Peggy, says had ingestion, but afterwards felt greatly relieved. Yep.、Uh, that makes complete sense、uh, because we're, again, we're balancing these.、Um, CJ, always grateful for the service. Heather、uh, loves the advice. Have、uh, started enjoying her own yoga practice at home. Good. It's weird to, to,、uh, to dance and chant, Joe chant.、Oh, great. Moving that way is good. A whole lot of body got warm and tingly, says Hosanna. Good experience, says Sherry. Great. Jessica, thank you. She will add this to her toolbox. Excellent.、Uh, some sweating, so warm, and pain is gone. Wonderful.、Uh, it really helps chanting, Joe. Good. Release some blocks.、Um, that was an amazing feeling, says Linda Smith Deacons. Wonderful. Very good feedback. And it's very simple when you break it down. Okay? So, the simpler version, who can remember all that, right? Anybody remember all that? Okay, here's the simple version. You know you have a heart, you know you got a lungs, a brain, you know you got a spine, you know you got these body organs. The only two energy centers w a s、uh, the lower Don Tian, that's in the center of your body, about an inch and a half below your belly button. And the Kundalini is behind it, about an inch lower. And so you just remember the two energy centers. You know where the other things are. And you just put one hand there and the other hand in your lower abdomen. And you just send it love. I love my brain. I love my brain. Heal my brain. Boost brain power. Boost brain power. You could make it up. It's okay. Why? Because it's the message. What you chant is what you become. See the difference? The only thing I would add to that is remember to call all the outer souls. Call divine, Tao, source, call Jesus, call Buddha, call whoever you like that is a light being. They will come and bless you. You get that much more blessings for whatever area is out of balance. So, soul and soul wisdom and soul teachings is truly exceedingly simple.、Uh, you don't have to do all ten areas, just focus on the area that's important. You have sore back, dear the soul of my back. I love you. Please forgive me for complaining, saying I have a bad back. I recognize now that's not the right thing to say. You support me, you carry me from A to B. I, I, please forgive me for complaining. I love you. You have the power to heal yourself, rejuvenate yourself, release the pain. Chant for 10 minutes. Heal my back. Soul of my back heals my back. Soul of my back heals my back. You could be very surprised. Ten minutes later, your pain could be gone or diminished quite a bit.、Uh, 
I, I, I suggest you do these, especially if you're, you're not sure if it'll work, because when it does work, your brain will shift, and you'll start to have a deeper clarity of the power of the understanding of soul, okay? That's what everything we're trying to teach you is. This is just another day of soul teachings. So I'm very grateful for all of you joining. I call you once again to my 12-week program. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, don't go anywhere. I'm going to give you all a free video um, to my teaching, my private teaching for the first week of my program. Give me just a second to find the link. There it is. And this is on my 12-week Open Spiritual Channels program. Okay, I'm dropping this in now. And um, uh, if you wish to join, this will be open to the public for the first couple of weeks, okay, because people can play catch-up in the first few weeks. Uh, this first session, it's a little long. Every session is 90 minutes. Uh, I went a little long because I went into the entire, this is what you can expect. Uh, uh, how, how your body may react, how your energy centers may react. When we open the spiritual channels, when we clear blockages in the energy centers and the chakras, this is, uh, you know, because when you're working with a real master, you know, Master Shah's wisdom, stuff really happens. You do clear blockages and you do, uh, you know, get healthier. You might go through a few ups and downs on the way there, but it really works. So you want to watch this and see if this program is of interest to you. Uh, for those that... Um, already are in it, remember to share this with your family and friends. If somebody enrolls because you shared it with them, then you get a free um, uh, soul operation now called a Tao Soul Light Blessing, which is a very, very nice blessing. Um, so thank you all for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, Facebook message me. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.